And sometimes we stay in touch when we don't even mean to. <laughs> We've all received at least one pocket dial. <laughs> and you pick it up and it's just your friend eating lunch. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, let me get a tuna melt. Jeff? Uh, pickle chips. Uh, Jeff, hello. Let me drink, make it a combo. Jeff? Huh? And through no choice of your own, Jeff has turned you into a creepy eavesdropper. <laughs> well, I suppose I can listen for a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> he may talk about me. <laughs> My favorite in all of this phenomenon is the pocket dial voicemail. And even though we realize within five seconds that it is a pocket dial voicemail, you still listen to the whole thing. <laughs> Never can tell when the pertinent information could arise. Uh, Mr. Knutson, this is Dr. Phelps. You have cancer. Oh, no! <laughs> Glad I listened to all 20 minutes. This, this is the worst day of my life. Yeah. But uh, there's one thing I am grateful for with smartphones. It's the GPS. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to what's happening in society right now, but we are no longer lost. You never need to ask a stranger for directions. <laughs> never really been a big fan of that phenomenon, right? Because you're lost, basically. When you reach out to a stranger, you're weak. You, you're vulnerable. You're willing to believe anything. <laughs> basically asking a stranger for directions is saying, uh, excuse me, random person, we've never met, but I'm willing to do what you tell me <laughs> for the next two hours or so. So be cool, huh? Be cool. Yeah. And you always know the quality of the directions you're about to receive by the face the person makes right after you ask. Uh, excuse me, sir, could you tell me how to get to the art gallery? The art gallery? <laughs> but you started the conversation. You can't just, you know what, never mind. <laughs> no, no, where are you going? I know, I know where it is, I know where it is. I... Ah, okay, all right. My favorite is the people that will use their hands to somehow maximize the comprehension of their directions. Oh, the art gallery. <laughs> well, that's on the corner of Maple and Third. <laughs> okay, here's Maple. Okay. And then here's Third. It's at the corner of Maple and Third. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not from around here. Could I see your hands again? <laughs> ah, maple and third, yes. I'll just look for the giant class ring. Thank you. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.